Hey everyone, I'm Reina from Bangladesh. I'm a foreign exchange student and I'm having the best time of my life in Northside High School. So for today's announcement, this year's winter semi-formal is the Midnight Masquerade. The dance will be on Saturday, February 10th from 8 to 11. Tickets will be on sale February 8th and 9th for $10 per student. Dance guest forms are available in student services. Make this a Valentine's weekend to remember with your friends or your sweetheart. There is a list posted by the Renaissance Cafe with the list of who is not allowed to attend semi-formal or prom. Please check this list. College visits are coming up. Dates are as follows. On February 12th, Indiana State University. March the 5th, IUPUI. March the 6th, Northeast Indiana College Fair at Purdue Fort Wayne. March the 22nd, Paul State University. And March the 26th, Purdue Fort Wayne, Sophomore's Visit Day. If you would like to visit one of these schools, please see the guidance office to sign up. Don't forget, tonight is Parent Teachers Conferences starting at 5 p.m. Students and staff support construction by eating at the Lima Road Panda Express this Saturday between 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Pick up a flyer in the guidance office before or after school. 20% of your meal price will go directly to construction and Community Harvest Food Bank. Northside's Gender and Sexuality Alliance will meet in the Media Center at 8 a.m. on February Friday, on February 9th, Friday, <laughs> there will be donuts and orange juice. If you have any questions about, G about our GSA, please contact Mrs. Morrison Guidance or Mr. Stanley in D Hall 34. That's where Boz's old room used to be at, somewhere. Don't know. Hey, Legends, <laughs> we are reading monsters. Check again. Check again. <laughs> Once again, we lead all FWCS high schools with over 19,000 books checked out of the library so far this year. But we also currently have over 1,000 overdue books. Remember that our media center works best when everyone can read the books they want and that only happens when they are available in the library and aren't sitting in your locker or house. Please return your overdue books. Reminder for any staff that wants to join the Biggest Loser Contest to get their $5 to Nurse Tony, the first way in is today. Sports. Boys track will be having conditioning every day after school. They meet in A204. You must have a physical to participate in conditioning. The, se the season starts on February 12th. Please co contact Mr. Webster to let him know if you're interested. Softball will co be conditioning Thursday night, 4.30 to 6.30. Meet at K Hall Bridge. Oh, um, Coach Smith would like to congratulate junior Mark Parrish for earning his first gold star this morning. <laughs> Oh, and Champions Together will be having a Polar Pledge fundraiser. And what does this mean? It means that you can help Champions Together hit their fundraising goal. And Mrs. Riggler, Mr. Dorman, Ms. Good, and Mr. Berg will all jump into a freezing cold pond on February the 10th. And you can help if you go to firstgiving.com and search for Northside High School Champions Together. Here you can donate to the Champions Together fundraiser. All money raised will use to support will be used to support Champions will be used to support champions together and if you're not web savvy no problem you can also take your cash into the athletic office to miss Riggler in e306 or f303 so for today's lunch menu chicken tenders beefaroni hawaiian pizza pre-plated salad fruit salad yogurt and granola pb and j uncrustable condiments Sweet potato fries, catsup, tossed salad, fruit cocktail, fresh fruit, and milk. <laughs> okay, and today's stop for the day is reader, Readers Make the Best Leaders. And here is Mrs. Richardson with the start of our Black History Expose. Thank you. Ready? Hello, my name is Lisa Richardson, and I am an assistant principal here at Northside. And I want to talk to you about Black History Month. Black History Month is an opportunity for us to look and review over our past and to help us to look towards our future. For me, it's not just a person like Booker T. Washington or George Washington Carver, but it's about the spirit and the characteristic of black history. It's about perseverance, it's about truth, it's about overcoming and resiliency. It's about all those things that we see in all those people that represent who we are as a community and a culture. I want you to follow along with us this month as we explore an um, array of different people and look at the connectiveness of those characteristics that I just referred to that teach us about what and who Black History Month is all about. Thank you. <laughs>